what are you saying, Gnarly? You want some pavlova too? Oh, okay. Well, when it comes out of the oven, I'll give you some. Oh, I see you are eating cheese. Okay, so once you have your circle cut out, you're gonna get a baking tray and just put that on the baking tray. The next thing you'll need is three eggs. And you'll take your eggs and you're going to separate the yolk from the white. So give it a little crack on the side and then separate just like this. Okay, and then you have your whites in one. You can go ahead and plop your yolk in the other. So do all three eggs and then we'll do the next section. Okay, so here we go. We have been mixing this for at least five minutes and the um, sugar and egg whites and the vanilla and the little bit of cream of tartare have made this really nice, um, delicious meringue, which is fabulous. Look at this, ooh, yes. And so now we just take this meringue and we're gonna put it onto the paper that we cut. Now, what you want to do when you put your meringue on, see it's almost solid, is that you're gonna push it down in the middle and then you're gonna have a little, it's like a little wall. It's like actually it kind of looks like a little nest almost because you want to cook this and then when it's all finished, you're gonna take it out of the oven, let it cool and fill it with strawberries and cream. There you go. So we will now put this in the oven and bake it at 300 degrees for 45 minutes. That's it. Okay, this is exciting because we're almost at the last step. I take my strawberries, I cut the green off, and then I'm just gonna slice them. And what I like to do is get the strawberries prepared first and I put them in a bowl. And then after I've cut the strawberries and put them in a bowl, then I whip the cream. Okay, so at this point, I've taken my uh, meringue out of the oven and it was sitting on the paper and I just peel the paper carefully off the back. It just peels quite easily and I put it on a nice serving dish. Um, mine is kind of puffy and a little bit delicate. It's Hopefully it's gonna be a little bit crunchy on the outside and maybe a little bit chewy on the inside. If it cracks, that is not a problem at all. So last step, we're going to pour the whipping cream into the mixer and I have the whisk on the end of it right here. Um, we are just gonna whip the cream. Okay, so now that my cream is whipped, I'm gonna take it out. And I don't put anything in the cream because I've already put vanilla and uh, the meringue is made of just mostly sugar and egg white. So this is just like a really nice, yummy, organic cream. And it's just whipped, so it's nice and stiff. And did you know if you over whip cream, it can turn to butter? So make sure you don't over whip it, but this is what it should look like. So last step. I'm going to pour the cream onto my meringue. And I'm going to pour it all around. And so that's why if your meringue is cracked, it's fine, it doesn't matter. And then I'm going to get my strawberries. and I'll spoon them on top, sprinkle them all around. All over. And this is called a strober strawberry pavlova. And it's a great summer recipe. It's really easy and it's just Super festive. Here we go. 
Woohoo! Let's partay. Bye bye, everybody. Oh, gnarly, you have been such a good boy. It's time for you to have some pavlova. Would you like some pavlova? Oh, yes. Oh, you, you're enjoying it. I can see that you, oh, oh, really enjoying it. Oh, where are your table manners? Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, wow, okay. Well, everybody, I think the pavlova was good.